I am your maid. But I didn't come here to be bullied. to have her there, you know, you know, it's been a long time since actually my family, my whole family actually met up with her and it was a nice time for her to come and, um, and she met my parents, you know, she met the extended family, you know, years have passed and, you know, she's someone else, uh, much older, you know, she lives in a different place, when, when you knew her she lives with us, you know, in the city, and now she lives back in the village. Um, yeah, I didn't really ask her exactly what's her reaction, but I think she briefly said something like, you make me laugh, you make me cry. Mm. Asin, yes, it's a song from the 80s band Asin. You know, I remember when I was listening to, when I knew I wanted a song for the end of the film, mm. so I, I basically just went on the internet and, you know, and Played and downloaded and mm -hmm. bought a lot of songs or listened to a lot from them. Um, and, and this song just caught my ear. So yeah, that's the thing. I was moved even before knowing mm -hmm. the language. And then and, it, and it, then it, I went to your check story. I went to check the translation mm -hmm. of the of the music and then I realized that wow, it's it's so suitable. Mm. I checked the translation and I was thinking, because I was moved by the song itself mm. without knowing that what it means, because it, 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 it feels very affecting already. Mm. You know, after I understood what it means, I, I realized that, oh, it's very, very uh, suitable a song. Uh, and of course, you know, I made a conscious decision to not subtitle the song in English, mm. because I felt I didn't want it to be so in your face. Yeah, literal. Yeah, it would be too literal then, mm. you know, I just felt that the song, whether or not you understand it, as a Filipina, you know, if you understand it, great. But as a foreign audience, mm. even if you don't, I think it still moves you. Mm. I don't know, it was probably the best thing ever for a first time, you know, feature filmmaker, because it's probably the most prestigious prize for a first time, mm. you know, uh, full-length movie director, you know, one can get. So. Um, I can't say how grateful I am and I can't say how uh, surprised I was, you know, because there are 26 films in yeah, competition. Yeah, all the categories across. 26 films, there are films with much bigger budgets, there were films that had, uh, you know, a much bigger cast, you know, more prominent, more famous cars. Bigger countries. Yeah. And Singapore has never won a prize in Cannes before for a feature film, so it just feels like it wouldn't happen.